Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Vibrant Soul Tarot and I'm super excited to have you here today. Today's pick a card reading is all about who is thinking about you. So who has you on their mind and what are they thinking about? We have these three piles to choose from with these three different variations of amethyst. So pile number one starting right here we have the modern witch tarot with this amethyst tower. Pile number two, we have the Rider Waite Tarot with this raw piece of amethyst. And pile number three, we have the Ascension Tarot with this amethyst cluster. So please take your time if you need to. You can pause the video when choosing your pile. When you do have your pile selected, I will post the timestamps for each one in the description box below, and I will see you there. Bye, guys. Hi, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Modern Witch Tarot and the Amethyst Tower, then these messages are for you. So today we are going to be asking Spirit to show us who has you on their mind, who is thinking about you, and show us a bit of what it is they are thinking about when it comes to you. So can you please show me, Spirit, who is thinking about my pile one? Who has my pile one on their mind, please? Who is this? We have forgiving and learning. This is telling me that this is someone that you do have passed with. And I feel as though this is someone that is coming through to say that they may have learned from the past between you two. Let's get some more cards though. Someone that maybe has tried to move on from you, Pile One, but it seems like they can't. Yeah, so we have separation. So this is someone that is, uh, you and this person are definitely currently in a separation with right now. Let's see a little, let's see one more card. I do, I'm already feeling like this person does want some sort of reconciliation. And I feel like when they think about you, they may have a lot of regrets with this forgiving and learning too. So let's go ahead and take a look. That's way too many cards. Who is thinking about my pile one, please? We have stay optimistic about your love life and pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Bottom of the deck, we have codependency. Okay, so yeah, this is someone that feels very, very still connected to you. I do feel like... This connection could have had a lot of triggers in the past. And so I feel like this person is working on trying to figure out what it is that they did wrong or pay attention to the red flags. It's like they're still trying to figure out what exactly went wrong here. Um, we do have stay optimistic about your love life, though, which means that they are still thinking about some sort of reconciliation here, that they are trying to stay positive when it comes to the future of your connection. Maybe they're hoping, like I said, for a reconciliation here. So we're going to see what the tarot a little bit more about who's thinking about you about this person and then we're going to see what it is that they're actually thinking about so can you tell me about the person that pile one is or is thinking about pile one excuse me spirit tell me about the person who's thinking about pile one please we have the hierophant tell me about the person who's thinking about pile one please We have the Five of Cups. We have Death. Yeah, so the Death is telling me that there was an ending uh, with this person. And the Five of Cups is telling me that they are still mourning this. They are still very sad about this. I'm not sure if you have exactly no contact with this person. But they are... They're sad about this. I do feel like the Hierophant, though, is telling me that they still want a little, some commitment here. They want to work on things with you since the Hierophant is usually depicted as two people in front of someone who has a lot of wisdom. This could also indicate the wisdom that they learned from this connection and that they want to push forward and bring this wisdom into the future with you. But I do feel like for most of you, this is someone that uh, wants a very long-term commitment with you since the Hierophant does represent marriage, commitment, 
and um, also learning. I feel like this does represent this forgiveness and learning card that we had in the very beginning with you. We have the Six of Swords. So yeah, this is about them trying to transition from one place to another. I feel like this is like they're seeing or trying to see at least what went wrong. Because with the Five of Cups, I think that this person still has a little bit of learning to do because they're very much... Bottom of the deck, we have a Seven of Cups too. So yeah, they're still very much in their head, which was exactly like what I was going to say. And I think they're still replaying certain events and certain things that has happened in between you two. And this is, well, this is a big factor of like why you are on their mind. But I'm getting an energy of very sad. Like this person is is still mourning. This person is sad. This person may have regrets as well. So let's get one more card. Can you please tell me about the person that pile is, has pile one on their mind? Ooh, we have the five of wands. Still very conflicted um, about certain things. I think that this is kind of like the energy that's going on in their mind. I still think it's a little bit chaotic. If there was... A point in time with this person where it was a little chaotic maybe there was a lot of arguments and stuff this is representing that energy as well but really it's like they are i think they're fighting with themselves about certain things this person may be a little bit hard on themselves as well and i think for the most part it's like they're trying to they're trying to move on from this situation at least as much as they can. But something keeps pulling them back here. And I think with this death being the heart of the reading, there it's it's all about endings and new beginnings and transformations. And so I do think that this person wants to transform not only their life, but this connection. I think this person just doesn't know how. So they're very conflicted about certain things right now at this point in time. But now we're going to see what exactly they are thinking about when it comes to you. Like what is on their mind when it comes to you. So can you please tell me what they're thinking about? About my pile one. So we have the three of pentacles. I actually feel called to take these. So I'm going to take all these cards. We have the three of pentacles. We have the wheel of fortune. Ace of cups. Page of swords. Yeah, they're thinking about uh, having a new beginning with you. They're just thinking about when uh, when it's going to happen. I feel like this person is maybe waiting for an opportunity. This person may be waiting for things to kind of calm down. But then we have the tower here as well, too, with the strength. And this is telling me that this person is trying to be very strong through these changes, but it's not feeling good to them whatsoever. Like this person is going through uh, maybe a very uncomfortable time in their life. And I feel like this person could have relied on you a lot for their comfort and now they're just they don't know <sighs> they don't know I think for some of you it's different and I think that's why I'm getting conflicted but I'm also tapping into this person's energy and this person is very much conflicted right now for some of you they just don't know and I, they do have fears is what I'm hearing as well too they have fears about the future fears about how you're going to perceive them as well but the bottom of the deck we have the four of wands which indicates a union and that's what they've been thinking about especially the heart of this reading being the ace of cups here now so they're thinking about a brand new start with you and, and taking maybe the things that they've learned and very interested on where your head's at right now as well too. Now with the Wheel of Fortune here, I think that they feel that this may be out of their control at the moment, that maybe circumstances and things, especially with the energy of this tower too. The, the circumstances and things may be standing in this person's way and your way of this. But with the Three of Pentacles being the first card that comes out, this is telling me too that they do want to reunite with you and collaborate with you and work with you in some sort of way here. Um, and maybe even show you some appreciation, I think, for this Three of Pentacles too. I'm getting the energy that they, maybe they really... Maybe when they move past the ego at times and maybe when they move past all the things that have happened between you two and things like that, they do truly appreciate you and what it is that you've brought to them and what it is that you've showed them because I do feel like this person does have very strong feelings with for you and I do feel like this person 
holds you very close to their heart and in a certain way even though i'm hearing that they may come off as angry and bitter at times i think that this person still still recognizes um the beautiful things that you've taught them and the things that you've done for them with the strength here as well too and the tower i think that this person <laughs> It's almost taking this person all the strength that they have to continue on and to go through these the, these changes. And, and with this tower, I'm feeling a very uncomfortable uh, shift that is happening, like burning away all of this person's maybe patterns, thoughts, things like that. And they're realizing that they have to continue and complete this transformation and complete this tower moment in order to make this relationship um, what you want it to be and what they want it to be i'm pretty sure they're realizing that you can't bring in that old baggage and that old like burdening things into a new connection especially if they want it um with you as well so so the end goal, I guess, I guess we would say pile one is that they do want a reunion with you or a union here with this four of wands. And it's uh, very apparent here that they have very strong feelings for you. And I think it's like they're working on how they're going to approach you. The page of swords, it could also indicate here too, that they have them, they have things that they want to tell you, but maybe they're not able to articulate them in a way that uh, is healthy, or maybe in a way that you would understand, or maybe they're not even able to talk to you at this moment for whatever reason, but they are thinking about and interested in about moving forward here even though they recognize that it is going to have its challenges and that it may be a bit difficult but they i think that they just can't deny these feelings here for you and deny that they're deeply saddened that they don't have you in their life or at least they're not in a relationship with some of you for right now and i'm, I'm just and it could be different for all of you. I don't know if all of you are like in a no contact situation with this person or in a some contact or maybe you guys are just going through some challenges right now. All I know is that they um, see the light at the end of the tunnel and I think that they may doubt their ability to get there with you, but their love and their feelings are strong enough and they think about you enough to try to be strong and to make this happen especially with this strength as well here too oh pile one okay so um i want to get let's see what was i gonna do first let's get some oracles here about this person and what they're going through right now as well too since we kind of have some basis information, I think these, I just basically, I think what I want to do now, I should have planned this reading a little bit more. I planned it like up until this point, um, is maybe some messages for you with this deck, like what you need to know about this person and what's kind of going on too. So, Ooh, we have denial. Ooh, that's kind of a powerful energy right here too. I think that this person, yeah, is still maybe somewhat in denial of, oh my gosh, I'm hearing that song lyric like, I'll be in denial for at least a little while. And then it's like, what about the plans we made? And that is giving me, that is so sad. And that's giving me that five of cups energy. Like they're still kind of in this wishful thinking energy here. Okay, so... What does pile one need to know here? And we're just going to get like maybe one or two of these cards here. And then we're going to see the initials and zodiac signs. Ooh, we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. That is beautiful. I think this goes for both of you at this point in time. I think this person is definitely grieving, especially with that five of cups um, here. And I think that this person is realizing a lot. And I was getting a couple different messages when I, when I said that too, like different things that this person is realizing. And I think 
this is a huge awakening for this person as well too a big eye opener i think for some of you if i could be quite honest pile one for some of you Maybe this person needed to actually feel this loss and feel this grief and not have you around so easily at some point in time because it was almost as if your compassion and your love could have been enabling this person's behavior as well too. Sometimes when we're so quick to forgive and we're so quick to uh, come back or whatever the case is, it makes the other person feel like they can just repeat things repeat behaviors and stuff and it and it doesn't really um have the impact that this separation would if this is making sense okay let's get one more card what does pile one need to know about this person in this situation what does pile one need to know about this situation regrets and love i love that love came out we have perseverance as well too and this is this is really all about this strength that you and this person have persevering through uh so much so much whether it was challenges persevering through challenges in this connection persevering in, in a separate thing i do feel like your strength and this person's strength has been recognized and i think spirit really wants to commend you for that too and i think spirit is telling me that this was not easy this is not easy and that you are actually being so so strong so um hats off to you okay and then we have regrets which i i know pile one it's so hard not to think about things and doing things differently and and thinking about the woulda coulda shouldas like well if if it was only this way it would be different and things like that trust me i know that is so burdening and so hard and um my heart does go out to you but it's time i think to let go of what was and to stay optimistic about what is still and then to you know to add love to add love into the situation is always the key ingredient when it comes to healing your mind and your heart and just knowing that things happen exactly the way that they're supposed to happen so don't try to beat yourself up about regrets or anger yourself about maybe things that the other person should have done um, I think it's time. It's almost giving me this energy here and spirit is coming through with this time of acceptance, just accepting things for what it is right now that you truly can't go back and change anything. But the thing is, is that you have learned, you know, you and this person did learn from these things. So if you do pursue things in the future or whatever the case is, or maybe even for some of you in another connection, you know, you know, now what to accept what not to accept what to do and what not to do and that i think is is very valuable as well but um i basically spirit doesn't want you to be upset and be burden burdening yourself excuse me burdening yourself with things that you can't change at this point in time and that's why my heart goes out to you i was saying i know like i know how that is i've done that i it's it's so hard and then sometimes our mind can be um our worst enemy at times by almost like transporting us back into past times and just wanting to redo things and wanting to do it so bad and that willpower and that want is so strong but you just can't and you feel kind of helpless and hopeless in that situation and i think that you know those feelings should be recognized and validated, but I think you should still be easy on yourself. I just want you to be easy on yourself and to know that things are still working out for you no matter how they seem right now. And I just want you to know that everything happened exactly the way it's supposed to happen, even if it wasn't the way you wanted it to happen. So I don't think there's any more you could have done, anything more you could have said. It's just almost what it is at this point in time Jeez, pile one this, this is a heavy reading <laughs> and i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things i think that goes hand in hand with not being able to change the past here too you know that goes with taking these lessons taking it with strife and and still persevering and knowing that um you know you can overcome anything as well too and I think this has a lot to do, because there is loneliness under here, I think this has a lot to do with you accepting things 
because you know what you deserve and not because you feel like you're missing something or you feel like you you are lonely you know what I'm saying I think it's almost it's like sometimes we have to persevere through this separation persevere through this loneliness and, and because we know that we deserve better whether this person is trying to be better in the future or we it's someone else you know what I'm saying you it's what you deserve and sometimes doing the things that are good for us and doing the things that we know we deserve doesn't always feel like we're doing a good thing in the moment sometimes the things that doing what's right for us actually feels like feels wrong and I think this is something that you may be persevering through as well too so again my heart goes out to you I feel like you are being so strong and I love your perseverance too I think spirit loves your perseverance too that you are able to get through almost anything well I don't mean almost anything but I mean like anything and that um I think you don't recognize how you how strong you really are what I'm hearing right now is that I think to like maybe like to to uh, an observer an observer would say like wow this person is like you make it look easy <laughs> even though it may not feel easy you definitely do make it look easy and I love that for you <laughs> so yeah um okay let's move on to the initials and the zodiac signs so please keep in mind too if these don't all resonate or maybe i'm sure i'm sure most of them will but if this reading resonated then just know that it was still for you regardless what any initials say or any zodiac signs say okay so we have two v's right now and that's interesting. I always say these two Vs, they remind me of like the X's, they remind me of like Roman numerals too. So this could represent like five, five, and that could represent challenges and, and obstacles and changes too. And also what the initials are is the Vs. So then we have an M, we have an N, we have an I, we have, oh, I'm sorry, this isn't an M, this is a W, but it could be an M for some of you. That's why I read it like that because we have two W's. Oh, and then this one wants to land as an M. So yeah, we have an M, a W, a P, and two N's as well here too. Okay, and then we have an A, an L, an R, and an E. Ooh, I'm here. I'm seeing like lawyer, the word lawyer, or lawn. Okay, I'm sure there's a bunch of words in there, but I'm not going to spend all day trying to figure it out because that's going to take me forever. So we have Sagittarius, we have Aries, we have Libra. We also have the sign of Cancer. We have double confirmation for Cancer as well, too. We also did have Scorpio energy with the Death card. We had Leo energy with the Strength card. And any more prominent? Oh, and then Taurus with the Hierophant as well, too. So these are the initials and the signs. Thank you so much if you stay till the end, pile one. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another reading. And I will see you again. Bye. Hi, pile two. And welcome if you chose this deck and this amethyst piece. Then these messages are for you. So today we are asking the question of who is thinking about you? Who has my pile two on their mind? So first we're going to see who's thinking about you with this oracle and the tarot. And then we're going to be seeing what they are thinking about when it comes to you with the tarot as well. Pulling some advice for you and some little initial charms and some zodiac charms so let's go ahead spirit can you please show me who is thinking about my pile two who has my pile two on their mind please who is this person thinking about my pile two Ooh, we have chemistry there's a strong magnetic connection here this is someone who is very drawn to you they're feeling my pile too. Okay, so who's thinking about pile two? Passion coming out too. Okay, so 
that's too many cards so i'm gonna pull the top one so we have passion coming out as well too so this is already telling me that you and this person or at least from this person's point of view have a very strong sexual a magnetic connection with the passion here and the chemistry they feel like they uh are they're very drawn to you i feel like with this chemistry they feel that they could talk to you easily um that you guys just get along or vibe and then with the passion here this is telling me that they are very attracted to you physically here too okay so let's get one more card and then we're gonna see more about this person with the tarot okay so who is this person that's thinking about my pile too who is this person thinking about my pile too give your relationship a chance i love that and then we have keep an open mind okay so this is i think it this doesn't have to be the case but i think for a lot of you this is someone that uh has been thinking about you and thinking about a future with you and the reason why i say that is because for some of you or for most of you i'm feeling like this is a newer person or maybe someone that you've decided to open up to again if you do have a past together so just take what resonates here um but honestly this is someone that is thinking about the future thinking about possibly having a relationship a romantic connection with you and i think with this keep an open mind they kind of are wondering if you're going to keep an open mind here too i think that this is someone that they're like they they're like i'm feeling my pile too so i don't know where it's gonna go i don't know where it's headed right now but i'm just kind of riding this wave of uh chemistry and passion here so i kind of i'm already digging this energy for you pile too let's um here let's just put those like that okay let's see a little bit more of the channel. Okay, can you describe a little bit more about this person to me, the person that is thinking about my pile two, please? Spirit, who is this person thinking about my pile two? We have the Queen of Cups. Who is this person thinking about my pile two, please? We have the nine of cups and we have the king of cups. Okay, so first the first things first, this person could definitely be a water sign since that is very prominent so far, but they don't have to be. Um, so that is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer energy. I do feel like the person... Let's pull one more card, but this person is definitely feeling like you could be emotional fulfillment for them with this nine of cups. The fact that we have the queen of cups and the king of cups, I think that this person thinks that you compliment them perfectly um, as well. But, and I think this is a person that is very, I, I want to say emotional, but it's not in a bad way. Very in touch with their emotions here. Let's get some more. Can you describe this person for me, please? Oh my gosh, we have the two of cups too. In the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. Holy water energy here. That is nuts. Okay, so yeah, this person is someone that is definitely into you thinking about a romantic connection, a ma romantic relationship. They think that you, like I said, compliment them per perfectly and that... Um, almost like you're a wish or a dream come true the fact that the describing this person comes in is so much emotion means that so you could have actually you could have passed with this person for some of you for others though it's like you have maybe like made them feel things like awoken these types of feelings inside of them that, that, that are coming through. I'm picturing like a dam breaking and the water like rushing through because of all of this cups and emotions here. Very interesting. Okay, so now let's like see a little bit about what they are thinking about when it comes to your pile too. So what exactly are they thinking about with you? Which I feel like this was very telling already about kind of that because we have the king and the queen. And then we have, it's almost like they want a relation. They just want a relationship. Then we literally have give your relationship a chance. So if you aren't in a connection with this person, they definitely think about having a connection with you. They definitely have their eyes and heart set on you. And because of all this cups, which cups represents emotions, 
they are definitely, uh, there's very strong feelings and very strong emotions for you here. Okay, so what are they thinking about when it comes to pile two? What's on their mind with pile two? We have the Knight of Pentacles. I freaking love that. I love this energy. <laughs> okay, what are they thinking about when it comes to pile two? What are they thinking about? Ooh, judgment. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles. And we have the six of cups. Interesting. The six of cups could indicate that you do have passed with this, with this person. Because the Seven of Pentacles, I think what's happening here is that with the Knight of Pentacles, this person wants to come forward with you. They want to move this relationship, maybe even like take it steady with you because the Knight of Pentacles, like the, the words that I'm getting is like steady and uh, focused and kind of, they're very careful. The Knight of Pentacles is very careful and is, is kind of, I guess you would describe him as slow, but he's very efficient. So maybe this person does want to take things slow with you if that's what you want. But the fact that we have judgment here and we have the Seven of Pentacles, I think this person has their doubts as well, but not because of their doubting it themselves. This person thinks, doesn't know maybe exactly where your head's at. And so they're like kind of scared to, uh, I guess for you to be maybe even to be rejected and for to be perceived as some as something differently than what they are with you with this judgment like maybe because of past judgments in their like maybe in their past not even from you but just you know how that happens sometimes we get judged and then now we have kind of like an insecurity around a certain area um it, that's kind of the energy that it's giving me here but as well as the judgment, it means, you know, just that like being judged and stuff. I think this is also like a wake up call as well, too. Like this person is with all these emotions. And you know what? I just noticed what I actually love here, Pile 2, is that describing the person and what's going on with them, it was all emotions. And then what are what they're thinking about now is moving it more into the physical. So maybe this is just them, was them being in their head and feeling things for you and that initial like spark and stuff. And now it's like they're, they want to take it to the pentacles. Now they want to move it into a physical. So to have a physical relationship as well, too. Um, but, and, and, you know, and judgment also represents answering the call. So they feel called to pursue this with you. But I think with the seven of pentacles, it may be due to doubts on your end or not knowing where, where you stand. And if they do, maybe this is just doubts of like, I don't know if this is real or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this... If I'm feeling this way, I don't know if this person's feeling this way. And that can be quite scary, especially with all the emotions and the cups that we had here. You know, if this person does feel strongly for you or, or it wants a relationship with you, you know, and maybe they're not too articulate when it comes to expressing that at times. Or maybe they feel like they want to keep themselves safe, you know, to express that as well, too. I do want to clarify this six of cups, though, so I can get a little bit more insight. So can you clarify the six of cups for me, please? What is the six of cups talking about? About what this person is thinking and feeling towards pile two? What is the six of cups? Oh, oh we have strength. I was going to pull this one. Oh, yeah. Insecurities. Um, we also have the Four of Wands, though, and we have the Hierophant. So this person it does want some commitment. You know, what's crazy is the Hierophant and the Four of Wands both actually indicate marriage. So maybe this person is, like, thinking about a possible... Like, maybe this person feels these things and is thinking so a possible future and marriage with you. Again, I feel, I feel called to remind you guys that you know there's different people watching so you could be in different stages of this but i think it doesn't really matter sometimes you know we daydream and we want things and and i think that this person is definitely committed or wanting to be committed here to a long-term relationship the only thing is that this six of cups which is was what i was kind of feeling for this person is like because how i was saying you know in the past 
you know, maybe past relationships didn't work out or maybe, you know, something happened that kind of developed an insecurity around this person. So we have strength and we have the five of pentacles. So yeah, this person may have some fears of being rejected or fears of not being seen. And this has to do with, I think, self-worth as well too, which I it is so perfectly normal and perfectly human. Of course, we all have insecurities and we all have doubts and fears and things like that. So I want to say that this energy here is a little bit more wholesome than what I'm used to when it comes to readings. And I love that for you um, because it's not like this person is is trying to like mask or be deceiving to get something like their intentions here are good it's just that they you know are a little bit nervous they're a little bit scared of like how you're feeling or if they're going to be judged by you but all in all the what they want and what they're thinking about is moving forward here and i think this person is has the strength to do that and i think this person recognizes that it's going to take strength to do that i don't think that this is anything that is going to hold this person back at all i just think it's things that they're dealing with like doubts and fears and and so on and so forth but look at that at the bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles so yeah this person wants to collab with you work with you uh get together and um make something happen the three of pentacles is all about working with somebody to create something beautiful especially the pentacles in the pentacle or sorry i just totally brain farted right now uh, the pentacles is the physical of the deck. So this is about taking those emotions and that passion and that that chemistry and turning it into something physical here. So if this person isn't so adamant, it's because they are scared of being judged. And it's because the, of these insecurities is five of pentacles here with this strength. So this is the only thing that's holding them back because the seven of pentacles talks about seeing the potential and and seeing what, what it could be. But you're also standing there thinking like, huh, is this... Am, am I doubting this? Almost like I feel like this person's almost like, am I crazy <laughs> to, to do to think this, to want this, uh, to actually put myself out there like that? And um, and so if this person isn't like so like exactly what they were feeling, you know, <laughs> like and telling you, then that's probably most likely the case here. Okay, so now let's see some information for you. What does my pile two need to know here, spirit? Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. And we have surrender. I love that. I can release my need to control. Okay, and honestly, this empathy could mean so many different things right now. And it probably does. Then we have love. Look at all this purple, like yellow uh, amethyst energy. That's why I chose because it's like this person is thinking about you or who's thinking about you. And amethyst does represent the crown chakra um, because of the purple. So this is exactly the energy of what this reading should be. Okay. And then we have, look, we have more purple at the bottom too. I love that. Anyways, um, I want to get a card to clarify the empathy here because before I speak on it, because I think there's multiple different meanings to this. The first meaning actually I was thinking is like, you know, to maybe be aware of the effect you have on people and to be uh, a little bit, if you felt a little closed off here or you're like thinking that this person doesn't feel like that, I think that this person has a lot of emotions and a lot of um, feelings. And so it's kind of like to be aware of like, <laughs> this is the first message that was coming to this. I kind of be aware about like maybe how what you say and what you do because I think this person, even if they don't le like let on, I think this person is very sensitive. <laughs> Um, and also your empathy could help tremendously in this connection here. I think maybe you and this person um, could share that as well to have this some sort of like empathy or empath type of uh, energy. And that could be quite scary. And so I think that's why surrender is coming here too. like surrender to those emotions that you feel surrender to, you know, and empathy is a beautiful thing. Empathy is a superpower, even though sometimes it, it doesn't feel that way, but it really, but it really truly is. And then we have love here too, which I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And this is something that I think is about more of a mindset and just letting yourself feel and be open to it is something that I think the message is with these three cards here. So I guess I don't need to clarify that. Um, 
Ooh, bottom of the deck. Now we have the three of swords though. So don't let these, you know, these old blockages get in the way. I see that's kind of maybe what this person was doing. And so this is the message for you too, like to not let any old heartaches or past pains get in the way. The, the key point in the heart of this is actually surrender here. And it, sometimes that could be very scary and very hard. Trust me, I completely understand, but it's like surrender to the sweetness, surrender to the feelings. And, um, and like it says, I can release my need to control. Okay. Um, let's go ahead, I guess, and let's get some zodiac signs. Holy crap, that was really loud. I already had that one in my hand, so I might as well just drop it. All right, so we have Aquarius, but landing on the friendly side. And I love how it's kind of on the empathy too, like this friendliness I know, op to kind of open up, open your heart as well. But so we have Aquarius, we have Sagittarius, we have Pisces, we have Taurus. We have double Taurus actually with the Hierophant. And then we have uh, double Leo with the strength as well. Yeah, we do have Leo with the strength as card as well. Gemini and Aries. Those are the signs that are prominently present here. Let's get some initials here for you. Okay, so we have N, two N's. We have A, T, W, G, M, V, H, P, and X. Heard Xavier for whatever reason with that X. Oh, we have Nat too, so like Natalie or Nathan. Um, yeah, that's all I'm really seeing right now. So, um, I don't know if you can see these. Let me kind of move that out of the light for you so you can see them a bit better. And, oh, an H. I don't know if I said H, but we have H right here. All right, and uh, thank you so much, Pile2, for staying for your reading. If you stay till the end, I love you for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another reading, and I will see you again. Bye! Hi, Pile3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Ascension Tarot and this Amethyst Cluster, then these messages are for you. So today we are asking the question of who is thinking about you who has my pile of three on their mind then we're going to be getting some um information a little bit of information about what it is they're thinking about when it comes to you so we're going to start with this oracle and then we're going to move into the tarot to clarify a bit more so spirit can you please show me and tell me who has my pile three on their mind who is thinking about my pile three here who is thinking about my pile three who has pile three on their mind please okay so we have let go of control issues and we have let your friends help you so this is telling me that this is someone that maybe is trying to find out things about you through friends and through people and and then we have a wedding the situation involves marriage and maybe wants to take things to the next level here with you with this wedding i kind of feel called to get one more from here who is this person thinking about pile three? They may have a hard time like just letting like like it, this card says letting things unfold naturally. And so maybe that's why it has let your friends help you too. Maybe they're like, no, you need to like tell this person, remind them about me or, or something like that. Let's see. And then we have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, affirmations. <laughs> And visual visualizations help bring you together. Oh my gosh. Um could not talk. Give your relationship a chance. All right. 
this is definitely someone that thinks about you a lot. This is someone that I think is wanting to catch your attention. For some of you, this may be someone you don't even know who it is. That's very interesting, but I guess we're going to see here as well too. But with the wedding, you know, this could indicate like literal weddings, but I think this is about them, you know, taking things to the next level here with you, like wanting to move forward with you as well. So let's clarify on who this person is. So can you tell me about this person who has my pile three on their mind, please? Who is this person who has my pile three on their mind? right bottom of the deck we have the six of cups okay let's see what we got here we have the seven of pentacles the six of wands four of crystals so four of pentacles ten of swords and strength interesting 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 so this is a person that has definitely been through uh, some difficult things in, in the past. Uh, this could be uh, someone from your past, or this could just be someone who has just gotten out of a, a tough, like, karmic situation here. I feel like this person has, you know, gained a lot of wisdom and a lot of strength as well. Um, and with this four of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, and the six of wands, this is someone who has been, yeah, like I was getting before, this is someone who's been eyeing, eyeing you and sees the potential here in a possible connection and a possible relationship. So now I'm thinking for a lot of you, you actually do know who this person is because they wouldn't have... They wouldn't think there's so much potential and so many and this possible like success and victory and someone that actually really wants to be seen by you is something that I'm getting with that too. But what I was saying before is, you know, they wouldn't have these like feelings here if uh, you didn't know them or maybe honestly, hey, maybe they would. Who knows? But um yeah, this is someone that I feel like has built something for themselves. It doesn't even have to be in the physical, but I think with the strength, it's someone that is very stable here and someone that is willing to actually put in the effort and time with you. Um, okay, so with this Ten of Swords being the first card, though, I do feel like this they're still a little bit dealing with some past hurts, some past pains, and trying to get through that. But the strength is coming through with the Leo energy as well. The strength is coming through to say that they are very strong and they even though they've been through a lot they're able to still uh pull through and with this six of wands they want um i keep hearing that they want to be acknowledged they want to be seen they want to be heard by you as well too uh, the Six of Cups can definitely indicate a soulmate connection, but it can also indicate this is someone from your past too. So just take what resonates with that as well too. So now I kind of want to see what they're thinking about when it comes to you, Pile 3. So Spirit, can you please show me and tell me what they are thinking about with my Pile 3? What are they thinking about? What's what is actually on their mind with pile three? Ooh, we have the Queen of Wands. I love that. What are they thinking about with my pile three? We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Crystals, which is the Page of Pentacles. What are they thinking about with my pile three? And the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have Ascension too, which is the... Is it the World card? Yeah, I think it's the World card here in this deck. Um, wow. <laughs> 
they're thinking about how you know amazing you are and i think with this queen of wands here too this is them being very attracted to you they think that you're very magnetic this wasn't even intended to be like a what they think of you reading but this is something that they they think very highly of you if i could be quite honest and then with this page of pentacles here too it's like they're very interested in pursuing this a little bit further like they want to grow with you i think this page is coming out to show you that they're eager about this as well too and also the page of pentacles it represents growth like so they do want to grow with you and also this is also giving me the energy of like they want to offer you some sort of uh some sort of offer here in the physical world so what i'm assuming is eventually growing into you know the because it is pentacles growing into a physical relationship here and then we have the eight of wands and so this is like again saying action towards you this is what they think about a lot they think about oh and that makes sense that's why it's an offer thank you spirit and just putting two and two together then you know they're thinking about what kind of offer they're gonna have <laughs> they're gonna like present to you um if they haven't already but this is like what they're thinking about as well as like moving forward and stuff as well i think with the eight of wands too this represents kind of fast action but then we have the page of pentacles too so i think it's kind of a balance in between it's like and then it's just about coming towards you here too the ten of cups though this is what they think about this is what they're thinking about the ten of cups is like this person can compliment me perfectly. You know, when we think of the nine of cups, it's usually a, a person sitting there all, like by themselves, but they're emotionally fulfilled within them, within their own self. So the 10 of cups is saying, is saying that this person feels like you would emotionally fulfill them and you guys would work great together too. And you guys can have this like happiness and all of these beautiful, cute little things. And then the queen of wands is how they're kind of seeing you as well too, as someone who's magnetic. I feel like they're seeing you as someone that they are very attracted to since it is the queen of wands. So the queen of passion the queen of um like energy and things like that the queen of wands i guess would be someone that is very sexy i could see that being and if you're it doesn't even matter what gender you are this is just coming out because this is how like the feelings and how they are and the thoughts and, and all you know what i'm trying to say pile three i don't have to keep explaining but um yeah so they're they're actually they see this is again a part of the potential that they see here within this connection bottom of the deck being the world too i think this person um and this is all about this person and you and expansion and like opening your mind to different possibilities as well the world could end it could be ending of cycles but i don't i'm not truly really getting that here i'm getting like the possibilities are endless type of energy like you're standing there and you have the world like the world is your oyster you know what i'm saying and so 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 this person is is viewing this connection in a very optimistic light very hopeful light here with you and i think it has a lot to do with uh the way they feel about you and a, a lot to do with um I think this person is also very confident as well. You know, in a lot of readings, sometimes we go, we I get the energy because it's perfectly natural and perfectly human to have insecurities. And I think that this person is very confident, especially with this four of pentacles. You know, behind here, I think this person, you know, knows that they can offer you some sort, something that maybe no one else can, or so maybe something that no one else has before. And I think they like that. It, it There's something here about this person is what I'm trying to say is that it kind of gives them an edge up or an upper hand. So that could be so many different things too, but really they're, they're like, I want to, I want to make this work. I want this to continue on and they think about <laughs> sorry i was getting some sexual messages but they they think about okay go away they <laughs> this is not an 18 and plus reading here but they think about you know how fulfilling and how much potential this relationship has i think i said that already so let's go ahead and move on to um the advice oracle so this is something these messages are for you and then we're going to pull some initials as well as some zodiac signs but this is more or less of like what you i guess just anything that comes out as advice for you about this situation here 
Ooh, so we have doubt. Ooh, I release the need to know all the answers. This was that energy that that person was kind of having too. I think that's almost exactly what the, the beginning card said for that person too. So you two are both kind of maybe even feeling the same ways, uh, seeing this beautiful potential, but you're still having doubts because you don't know like where the other one uh, is at or maybe because of this ten of swords you and this person have both been through different things there are certain things that kind of has made you doubt a little bit if you know you can have a beautiful romantic relationship that's not full of pain and and horrible endings i think this is almost like a fear here of this ten of swords happening too because if it's happened in the past a lot of the time we take things and we now have created some sort of fear around that of it happening again and ten of swords painful endings uh knives in your back you know being betrayed and things like that all things that are natural fears that come with pursuing a relationship but it seems to be that you and this person are both kind of doubting if this is too good to be true type of scenario right here which that is kind of a little bit frustrating because it's like maybe you guys both have uh, these beautiful thoughts and a lot to say like this person seems to have see a lot of potential here and have a lot to say and, and a lot that they want to bring you and a lot that they want to show you but if they're doubting that you feel the same or if they're doubting that this is even real then they're probably holding back a lot too and so this could be the same way for you so i think that's why this message came for you to hear um and look we have fear yeah it seems to be because there's a lot of fear involved of getting hurt and like and like i just said too you know this is it's perfectly normal to feel that way, especially with uh, deep connections and, and feeling strongly for someone, especially if maybe you felt something so fast. Of course, there's it's natural to doubt, but it's important that you don't let fear control your perception and fear doesn't control your decisions. Because if you're making decisions off fear, then you're definitely holding yourself back from something something so beautiful so i think this is coming through to be an awareness oh my gosh spirit said fear if <laughs> spirit said fear is like uh what did you say fear is like a disease that spreads and spreads and so it needs to be cut off it needs to be taken care of and it needs to be dissolved and I think this goes for a lot of the collective. I think this is something that's happening for a lot of the collective right now. So maybe if you've been in situations where you seem to be almost having to face your fears, but you still feel like the, you still feel the urge to persevere, it doesn't mean that, that you have to annihilate all the fear. But as long as you're you're moving forward regardless and you're not letting it hold you back, that's already so good right there too. Okay, and then uh, let's get one more message here for my pile three. And doubts are also based off fear, too. Like, the doubts always come and creep into your mind through fear. And I think this is something that you and this person are both doing right now. Mm, my lower back is hurting as well, too, uh, right now, too. And that means that uh, there could be a lot of fear in your root chakra as well, Um so to maybe work on that as well a lot of the time when our root chakra is blocked or we feel like we don't have certain stability or we feel like we don't have the resources or we're scared of the future things like that our root chakra can get real murky and blocked and could cause some some um pains but i think this is spirit also coming through to say you know to ground yourself as well and to keep that root chakra clear and it'll be way easier to see and differentiate through the doubts and the fears a lot of the time we get in our head um hence you know who is thinking about you we're always thinking we're always wondering and we don't really have a sense of groundedness or a sense of security or for sureness is what i like to say because it's like well i'm thinking these things but is it for sure and so to ground as well um and that could help oh well actually i know for a fact it will help a lot okay let's get one more card and then off to the zodiac signs and initials one more message for my pile three, please. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. 
this is just directly this is another version of doubt this is another the, the way that it's per, being portrayed to me at least in this it's it has a different meaning but like this is saying that you know if you can envision it if you can dream it if you can want it then you can get it you know and so this is about um taking the aligned action to do that as well but knowing, because it's not even really about the discipline is what I'm getting here. It's about the phrase, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So if you have your mind set or your sight set on something, whether that's something, someone, uh, you know, anything, then, you know, to realize that you can get it eventually, you know, usually discipline comes in there sometimes when we know things are going to either take a while or they're going to not be super easy, but that's N neither here nor there <laughs> it's just the fact that you can you can do it you know stop doubting yourself things things do work out for you believe in your good luck again pile three things happen for you for your greater good you know and um it's not all going to end in a disaster <laughs> um so yeah let's go ahead and let's do zodiac signs first Ooh, we got a lot of zodiac signs today. So we have Aries, Virgo, and then look, we have Sagittarius as well, but it's Optimist. And I think this is again, this is again a message to stay optimistic. We also have Pisces with Intuitive. We have Double Virgo Confirmation too. And we have Aquarius with Friendly. And then we have Leo with Generous as well too. To be generous with your love if you feel it, it it's okay. You know, if you feel needing to, you don't have to hold back. Unless, you know, obviously there's things that you should hold back from like people that are just takers but that's not what I'm getting here and this is just it's okay to be generous with your time and your love if you feel if you intuitively feel that it is worth it um and also we had double Leo I believe we had the strength card as well too I don't know if we had any other uh prominent like signs in the actual reading but get some initials here please All right, so we have J, we have H, K, R, W, L, T, I, Z, and X. So I'm gonna try to get the, is there a glare? No, I think it's okay. If you want to screenshot these, you definitely, definitely can. And um, I want to thank you for staying this whole time for your reading. If you did, I love you for that. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another reading. And I can't wait to see you soon, Pile 3. Bye!